But when it comes to his own duel with Mu Guiyin, Yang Zhongbao was no match for her. Every morning for the next three days, Guiyin defeated him in every form of combat. Her sword sung swifter than his, and her kung fu defied the human eye. She was a whirling, weaving, leaping storm of deadly combat. I couldn't help feeling disappointed. I mean, how could a doe defeat a hero? Once, when I shot Zhong Bao a worried look, he just winked back at me, and then I began to wonder, maybe he was letting her win. If they were so, it meant he wanted to marry Mu Guiying. Except that was her problem. The girl he thought was Mu Guiying really was Wei Han, and to make matters worse, and so I didn't know how to tell him the truth. In the afternoons. While Wei Han and Green were busy with their own training, Zhong Bao continued to teach and show and me all the secrets of riding and sword play. But on that third morning, after he had lost the final duel, and so decided it was time to be honest with Zhong Bao. The girl you think is greeing isn't greeing," he whispered. "She is our school friend from the future, Fu Wei Han. The real greeing is her servant." Zhong Bao grinned. "I should have known the way she fights. What a warrior! Her cunning, he cunning, and her beauty are a deadly combination." He nudged. And so nervously, did you know, Master Horseman? And so, that before I came here, I had a dream. I dreamt that I would marry Mu Guiying and return with her to my father. I remembered what Wei Han had told us. Dong Bao and Guiying did marry, and Guiying did save China. Everything was working out the way it said in the history books. Except of course, for us, we weren't in the history books, and fallen through a hole in history, and our fate was unknown. A cold shudder crossed through my body. I watched as Dong Bao seized his sword and crossed to where Green was waiting. He took her hand and proposed marriage. But I am only Green's servant," she protested. "No," he laughed. "Your deception did not fool anyone." That night, Yang Zhongbao and Mu Guiying were married. Wing Li Wu and two busted Ma came down from the village and took their wedding feast. But like ours, their names never appeared in the history books either. And then. It was time to leave the forest and set out on a great adventure.